this week, many parents around the country are loading up cars with everything their newly graduated matric teenagers own and heading off to varsities all over the country. For parents who have had 24-7 control and knowledge of where and what their whereabouts of their kids, this can be a really tough space. As I was reflecting on scripture, I came across the story of Jesus staying behind in Jerusalem to teach and listen in the temple. Mary and Joseph didn't realize that he had stayed behind and what followed was a frantic three-day search for Jesus. In the footnotes of my application Bible, I found this little paragraph that gives such great language to the space of these parents who are delivering their kids to varsity. Listen to this. Mary had to let go of her child and let him become a man, God's son, the Messiah. Fearful that she hadn't been careful enough with, God, with this God-given child, she searched frantically for him. But she was looking for the boy, not the man that he had become. Letting go of people or projects that we have nurtured can be difficult. It's both sweet and painful to see our children grow into adults. But when the time comes, we must step back and let go, in spite of the hurt. Then they can exercise their wings, take flight, and soar to the heights that God intended for them. So here's my top tip for the week. In spite of the hurt, in spite of the fear, let your children go. Give them wings. Remind them that you are there to love and support them. But give them space to soar in this new adventure and trust God to stand in the gap. Believe that the job that you have done over the last 18 years is enough and help them to step in to the new adventure, confident and unafraid. Have a great week.